Okay, back to the tray. I want to apologize to this fuller screwdriver. I accused it of being the, uh, the smelly culprit. It is not. I found it. There it is. That's what's making the whole box stink. Look at that. We're going to put that aside. Like, all the way over here. I didn't even want to touch this thing. The handle smelled as bad as it looked. Big Vic recently made an awesome screwdriver handle with his lathe. His project inspired me to make a replacement handle with my tiny lathe. This little thing is a blast to use. I replaced the cutting tools it came with with these wood chisels I got at Harbor Freight. I modified one to have a round profile. And I made this one into a grooving tool. I turned this piece of angle iron into an improved tool rest. I relocated the hold down screw to the back so I can adjust the rest closer to the work. I have an Amazon associate link for the lathe in the description and I'll include a link to my mini lathe playlist at the end of the video. I heated up the shaft of the screwdriver just enough to soften the plastic. I wanted to use a 45 ACP brass case for the furl. I removed the primer and heated the case red hot to soften the brass. I've had trouble drilling out the primer pocket in the past and I was hoping softening the brass would help. The good news was the hole was easier to drill. The bad news was that my clamping fixture deformed the case. I found a drill bit that closely fit the case and used it to help work out the creases. I used a small round file to make grooves for the wings stamped in the screwdriver shaft. David over at West Highland Shop sent me this cool old wood handled screwdriver. I used it as inspiration for the handle I was going to turn out of this cherry dowel. The screw mandrel that came with the tiny lathe tends to strip out, so I made a more heavy-duty version out of a cabinet screw. I ended up cutting down the length of the brass case furl. I transferred the depth to my wood blank. I worked on the turndown until the calipers fit. So I snapped a photo instead of hitting record right here. I was using the rounded chisel. 
Here's some footage from a different project. Okay, back to the cherry handle. I made this beading tool from another Harbor Freight chisel. I removed the tool rest to sand the handle. I parted it off with a hacksaw. I gradually opened up the hole to accept the screwdriver shaft. I was worried about those wings splitting my handle. I used an aggressive 40 grit belt in my 1x30 machine to clean up the butt end and fit the furl. I also used my 1x30 machine to shine up the furl and screwdriver. I finished the cherry handle with Minwax Natural and a few coats of Matte Clear. I glued the ferrule in place with clear 30 minute epoxy. I was worried about splitting the wood handle with the wings on the shaft, so I used a drill bit to clean out any excess epoxy and a round file to groove the bore in the handle. So here's the stinky, mangy plastic handle I started with. And here's my new wood handle and brass ferrule. I used JB Weld to glue the shaft in the handle. Chuck helped me polish the steel and brass.
The screwdriver is a little off center. I should have had Mrs. Magdad spot me while I was opening up the hole in the handle. This was a fun project. That tiny lathe is a blast to play with. My modified tools and tool rest have really improved the results I am able to achieve. Thanks again to Big Vic and West Highland Shop for the inspiration for this project. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. David's channel is really close to 1,000 subscribers. Head on over and give him a sub. I think you'll enjoy his content. I'll pin a link to his channel in the comments.